Snow White, we've got some friends here to see you. Professor, it's an emergency. Let me guess, you're missing some apples? What? No, my magic mirror is gone. Wait, you have a magic mirror? I thought that was your stepmother's thing. I kept it when she was kicked out of the kingdom. It's my most prized possession. Mind if we study the scene of the crime? Of course. Hey, what's with the hats? We're detectives. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Aha! A note just as I expected. Hi, kids. I'm Miss Booksy, and this is story time. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Belle and the prince, formerly known as the beast, were busy planning their upcoming wedding. But who ever heard of a yellow wedding dress? It's so different. It's fun to be different. <laughs> Whatever you say, but I'm not letting the prince wear a yellow tuxedo. Totally fine with me. Yellow is not my color. The prince will wear blue, obviously. <laughs> and we'll have roses everywhere. <gasps> roses in my hair, roses on the gown, a bouquet of roses, roses hanging from the chandeliers, oh, roses on the cake. Oh, it is going to be so beautiful. <laughs> and of course the groom will shave before the big day. Yes. Wait, huh? Did you have a beard and mustache this morning at breakfast? I I'm positive I would have noticed. Whoa, this place is crazy. What? Of course not. Oh my. Ah! Ah! What is going on? I'm turning back into a beast. Oh no. Does this mean I'm going to turn invisible again? Oh dear, the curse is returned. The witch's curse that turned me invisible and you into a beast. What? How? Belle, the enchanted rose! The rose is magic! It cursed me before, and now it protects us! Maybe something happened to it! Belle, please check! I can't go out there like this! Oh no! It's gone! Where is it? Well? It's gone! Disappeared! Vanished! Poof! No! We have to find it, Belle, or else I'll be turned back into a beast forever! That wasn't so bad. It was kind of fun sometimes. <laughs> but I guess you were a little rough around the edges, and you did scare the neighborhood children really bad that one Halloween. And I guess it was hard to find clothes to fit you back then. And we did go through a lot of shampoo. <laughs> that was so funny! Okay, you're right. I have to find that rose. It's gotta be here somewhere. A rose doesn't just get up and walk away. Unless someone stole it. Don't look at me. I'm just the wedding planner. I would say don't look at me, but I'm turning invisible, so you can't. Obviously, I didn't take the rose. Hmm. Now, how to catch a thief. I'm going to need to do some research. To the library. Aha! Mysterious mysteries and how to solve them 101. First things first, I need the right accessories. Wow, that is so cool. Second, look for the clues. To the scene of the crime. Clues, I am looking for clues. Aha! Oh, I sure am saying aha a lot. Well, I guess it comes with being a detective. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, aha, a clue. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. A long blonde hair, a hair so long, it could only belong to one person, Rapunzel. But wait, could a fairy tale princess really be a thief? Oh, Rapunzel is super cool. I don't think she would steal my enchanted rose. Wait, what's this? Another clue. It's a note. <gasps> Better see what it says. Mm -hmm. Roses are red, violets are blue, but your rose is gone. Bye bye, Tudalu. <gasps> Signed sincerely, the princess you never knew? <gasps> the princess I never knew, huh? <sighs> what could that mean? Well, I better go find Rapunzel and see what the dealio is. Ooh, this is so exciting. Rapunzel! 
Rapunzel, let down your hair. <clears throat> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, please. I need to talk to you. Use the stairs. Doors open. So many stairs. Sorry. As you can see, my hair is not exactly in shape for pulling someone up a tower. Ah! What happened to your hair? Someone stole my hairbrush. <gasps> Double mystery! Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on! Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. So you're telling me that someone stole your hairbrush? Yes! And my hairbrush is my most prized possession. I mean, look what, what happens without it. Ah, a bird! Oh, okay, I have to ask you something. Did you take my rose? What? What rose? My enchanted rose. The rose that broke the curse, turned the beast back into the prince, etc. Oh, right. That rose. No, why would I take it? Um, it's an enchanted rose? That means magic. Hello? Okay, well then, tell me this. Why would I find a super crazy long hair at the scene of the crime? A hair that arguably could only belong to you! This doesn't sound good. I don't know. Hey, what's with the hat? It's a detective hat, because I'm investigating a crime. And believe me, I will prosecute to the highest level. I promise I didn't go anywhere near your rose. I'm literally always in this tower. Besides, I've spent the last day trying to figure out what this note means. Say what? What note? This note. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Without your brush, you'll cause quite a scare. Tangles and knots, oh yes, you'll be a hot mess. And I'll be the one who's most fair. Okay, that's some pretty good rhyming. But check this out, I got a note too. Uh, then we've clearly been hit by the same burglar. Uh-oh, she better watch out. Wait a minute, you said you're always here. How did someone come in and take your brush? I nap a lot. It's exhausting being locked in a tower. Hold that thought. I'm getting a call. Uh, Cinderella! Hi! Look, I'm with Rapunzel! Hi! Hey! What's with the hat? It's a detective hat. I need a detective! What? Someone stole my glass slippers! No! Yes! Hold your horses! Or mice, or whatever. We'll be right there. Okay, Rapunzel, let's go! You and I are solving a mystery! Do you have an extra hat for me? I'd kind of like to cover up this mess. We'll pick one up on the way. Come on! Meanwhile, back at the beast, I mean, the prince's castle. Ah! Whoa, buddy. Sorry, I don't mean to be so beastly. Where is Belle? She's gotta find that rose. Maybe we should just make your wedding tux a little bigger so you'll fit into it if you stay like this. I'm not gonna stay like this. I'm a prince, not a beast. Rawr! Okay, whatever you say. How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Walk us through exactly what happened. I was outside singing with the birds and squirrels and then I went inside and I found this. Another note. What do you mean, another note? Okay, we don't wanna freak you out, but it appears we've got a cereal thief on our hands. Cereal thief? You think they stole my Rice Krispies? Cereal means more than one, and this thief has stolen from me and Rapunzel too. Really? Yep, took my hairbrush. And took my enchanted rose. Which she tried to blame me for. Everyone knows a fairy tale princess would never steal. We're getting away from the point. The thief also left notes for us. What does yours say? I win, you lose. I have your fancy shoes, your precious slippers made of glass. What a prize. And how lucky I am, they're just my size. That's so not cool. So let's think a minute. So far, this person has stolen my enchanted rose, your hairbrush, and your glass slippers. It's obviously someone who likes pretty things. Probably with long hair. And my shoe size. And good at writing rhymes. So a long-haired poet who wears a six and a half shoe. Or a rapper. Rappers are good at rhymes. Ooh, fun. Wait, what's this? Did you leave this here? No. Let's think. 
Who eats apples? Everyone. But who is perhaps the most notable apple eater of all time? Snow, Snow White. White! Hi ho, hi ho, to Snow White House we go! Oh no, this doesn't look good. Let's keep reading. Chapter three, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The princesses were trekking through the grim forest, not their usual turf. They were used to butterflies and bluebirds, cake pops and milkshakes, flowers and ribbons. Grim forest was dark. Smelly. Totally spooky. But then they saw some friendly faces. Hi there, lovely princesses. Whatever brings you to the Grib Forest? We're looking for Snow White. Is she still living with you guys? She moved into the castle with her dude. But you're in luck. They're renovating the castle, so the two of them are staying with us. Come on, we'll bring you to her. Snow White, we've got some friends here to see you. Professor, it's an emergency. Let me guess, you're missing some apples? What? No, my magic mirror is gone. Oh no. Wait, you have a magic mirror? I thought that was your stepmother's thing. I kept it when she was kicked out of the kingdom. It's my most prized possession. Mind if we study the scene of the crime? Of course. Hey, what's with the hats? We're detectives. Oh, cool. <laughs> Aha! A note just as I expected. Snow White, Snow White, so pretty and tall. She is tall, isn't she? Now I have the mirror and I'm the fairest of them all. Well, it's clearly my stepmother, right? She would want the mirror more than anyone. Or it's someone who wants us to think that. Whoever it is is trying to throw us off their tracks. When my rose went missing, I found a long blonde hair clearly pushing me towards Rapunzel, but she didn't steal my rose. And at Cinderella's, we found an apple core, which led us to you. But wait, we didn't find anything but a note at my house. No extra clues. Right, Cinderella called me. Why would she call me? Because you guys are friends? Maybe she's the thief and she stole her own glass slippers to make it look like it was someone else. What? No, that can't be. No way. Cinderella would never in a million, billion, trillion, gazillion years do that. You're right. She's the nicest. Back to square one. So what about my stepmother? Or another classic villain? Big Bad Wolf, Cinderella's stepsisters? No, they couldn't fit into Cinderella's shoes. Remember, the note said they're just my size? Or maybe that could be another intentionally misleading clue. We have to investigate every possible lead, starting with Snow White's evil stepmother. Are you ready? Ready. Wait, do you have your stepmother's address? No, but I know someone who might. Hello? Hello? Looks like no one's here. Ah! <sighs> I'm here! Sorry, I was just cooking up something in my bubbling cauldron. Ooh, a magic potion? No, my world-famous veggie chili. You don't even miss the beef. So, what can I do you for? We need to find Snow White's evil stepmother. Oi vey, not this again. I'm through with that woman, you hear me? Done. Dunzo. She is so mean. We just need to know where she lives. You don't have to do anything else. We won't even tell her how we found her. Don't you have a crystal ball or anything you can just look into and see where she is? Wait, why don't we just ask her if she can see who the thief is? Whoa, of course. We're looking for a thief. Could we look into your crystal ball and see who it is? If I had those kind of powers, do you think I'd be living in this dump? No, I'd have won the lottery and built a fancy mansion with a waterbed and a jacuzzi. Oh, so what can you do? I can tell you that I got a Christmas card from the Evil Queen last year. There might be a return address. Perfect. Let's check it out. Receipt from Radio Shack. Uh, that's a coupon for cat food. What's this? Nope, that's my niece's pre-K graduation invite. Oh, here it is. This is the address. Perfect. Did you read the poem? Poem? Christmas time is here, a time for love and cheer. 
So hang your stockings and trim the tree and have a holly jolly new year. Hmm, that sounds suspicious. Hmm, it's a lot more cheerful than I would expect from an evil queen. Yeah, but the rhyme scheme is super similar to the notes our thief has been leaving. It's gotta be her, right? Only one way to find out. Thanks, ma'am. Hey, aren't you gonna at least buy something from my shop? Oh, uh, sure, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, how about that disguise? The Groucho, nice choice. And there, buy one, get one free. Cool, let's go. Oh, hold up. Hi, hon, <laughs> it's my boo. <laughs> oh, he's cute. <laughs> ah! Exactly, Belle, I'm going full beast mode over here. It's true, he's growing at an alarming rate. He's eaten every scrap of food in the kitchen. We're talking everything. Dried pasta, bags of flour, even the cat food. Ew. Yeesh. Well, don't worry, guys. I'm going to find that rose. With that, Belle and Rapunzel, the crime-solving duo, went back out into the grim forest to find Snow White's stepmother and possibly their thief. But this time, someone was following them. Dun, dun, dun. No, I hope they'll be okay. Let's keep reading. Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Did you hear that? What? Shh. I don't hear anything. Wait, shh. I still don't hear anything. I think we're being followed. Lost them. Phew! Oh, look! I think this is it. Really? It's cute! I wouldn't have expected a quaint cottage for an evil queen. Hmm. <laughs> Former evil queen. She got booted after the whole trying to get rid of Snow White thing. Oh, right. Well, she's still a villain, right? I just wouldn't expect a villain to have such a charming flower garden. Ah! 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 That was really scary. Ah. I mean, Hello, <laughs> we were just admiring your garden. Those are white oleander, pure poison. And that hogweed looks so pretty, but one touch will turn you into a walking blister. Now what can I do for you darlings? Do you have any enchanted roses in this garden? What? Sure, play coy, we're on to you. Excuse me? We're here to investigate a crime. Oh, that explains the funny hats. Why does everyone keep commenting on our hats? They're not funny, they're totally standard detective hats. They're a little funny. Where were you this morning? And around lunchtime, and also yesterday. Where were you then? I was here. Got anyone who can confirm your story? Yes, my security cameras will show you I was here the whole time. Oh. Okay. You like to rhyme, don't you? Rhyme? Yeah. Make up poems, little sing-songy riddles and rhymes. How about this rhyme? <clears throat> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? You like that rhyme? Oh goodness, is this about that magic mirror? I hope I never see that wretched thing again. Wow, that is so mean. Wait, really? It ruined my life. I used to live in a castle. I was a queen. And then I got obsessed with looking in the mirror. Obsessed with myself. It's no way to live. One moment, please. <clears throat> Do you think she's telling the truth? Hmm. She could just be saying that to throw us off. Hmm. Maybe she has the mirror in her house right now right beside your hairbrush, Cinderella's glass slippers, and my enchanted rose. Do you mind if we take a look at that security footage? Be my guest. 
Meanwhile, in another garden not too far away, the wedding planner and almost invisible Gustav were running all over looking for the enchanted rose. The prince had almost turned full beast. He wasn't used to it, and he was making quite a mess. Arr! You've got to find the rose! Arr! Have you heard from them? No! Arr! Keep looking! Aye, aye. Arr! Oh no, this doesn't look good. She's telling the truth. She's been here for days, and I don't see any sign of the mirror. Wait, what's that? What? Go back. Enhance, enhance, enhance. <gasps> that looks like a wolf. <gasps> As in the big bad wolf. And look, this footage is from after we got here. <gasps> we were being followed. Play it again. Looks like he's hiding something in the garden. Mind if we look around in your garden? Whatever, but remember, don't touch the oleander, or the stinging nettles, or the poison ivy. Uh, you put poison ivy in your flower garden? I'm a villain. We do things differently sometimes. <clears throat> Aha! There it is! What's that? A clue! You're gathering clues, running all around, but I can huff and puff and blow it all down. But where to next? How will you know? To the little pigs or to grandma's house I go. P.S. Nice hats. I'll huff and I'll puff. The three little pigs. Grandmother's house. It's clearly the big bad wolf. But it just seems too obvious, right? Maybe it's one of the pigs, or Little Red Riding Hood, or even Little Red Riding Hood's grandma. Ah, too many leads. But we saw a wolf on the security camera. You're right. Let's go find the big bad wolf. He lives that way. Giddy up. What do you think will happen next? Chapter five, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The two princess detectives hightailed it toward the big bad wolf's lair. According to my GPS, it should be here. Wait, we can't just ring the doorbell. He'll never answer if he sees us out here. Time to go undercover. OMG, I love it. Now the big bad wolf won't know who he's dealing with. See? Oh, good thinking. Who is it? Uh, what should we say our names are? Um, it's me. I, I mean us. It's, uh, Ziggy and Pinocchio. Who? We're selling vacuum cleaners. You don't say. I could use a new vacuum. I shed a lot. Cool, cool. What now? Okay, let's just cut to the chase, Wolf. Where's the loot? Huh? The loot, the stuff, the stolen goods, the booty. <laughs> he said booty. <laughs> that was so funny. What are you talking about? Don't play coy with us, Wolf. We know you stole our stuff. Now give it up! Listen, I am a villain. That's undeniable, but you're looking at the wrong bad guy. I didn't steal anything. We saw you on the security camera. Look. That's not me. Look at the tail. It's striped. So? Oh? But the note said, I'll huff and I'll puff. That's your thing. The note? Yeah, the culprit has been leaving us these notes as clues. Or I guess as non-clues to throw us off. They're probably out there stealing more stuff as we speak. Hmm, someone left a mysterious note here just today. What? No way! Yes way, looky. You thought you had me, that you had won. But it can't be over, that would spoil all the fun. Alas, here it is, your very last clue. Look for the girl who looks up to you. Hmm. What would you do if you were there? The girl who looks up to you. So we're looking for someone short, Thumbelina. Ooh, but she's like really teeny tiny. I don't think she could carry all that loot, right? Someone who looks up to us. Not at us. It said, the girl who looks up to you. 
You know, like she admires us, wants to be like us. Well, that could be anyone. Who doesn't like princesses? I don't. Okay, well, you're a villain. So, wait a minute. You're a wolf. Yes. So, can't you, like, sniff the note and lead us to the culprit? I could. But what's in it for me? Dylan's aren't really into the whole helping princesses thing, if you know what I mean. How about all the doggy treats you can eat? Ah let's go! Meanwhile, things were advancing quickly at Belle's castle. The prince was almost completely beastified. He had transformed every inch of him except for one teeny tiny pinky toe. That's it! That's all that's human about me now! My pinky toe! The one that goes wee 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 all the way home. That's the one! Well, maybe it's not so bad! You could wear your wedding ring on your little toe! Right, Gustav? Gustav? Ah! Oh no! I hope they'll be okay! Ah! Floating head! Yeah, I'm almost 100% invisible now! Oh dear! I hope I'll find that rose! <laughs> Why'd you stop? The smell! It stopped! Here? We're out of school. I don't think our seasoned criminal mastermind is a second grader at Herbert Hoover Primary School. Do you smell that? What? My rose? No! I think it's pizza day! Oh, we don't have time for this. My prince could be a beast by now. The spell will be irreversible if we don't find that rose. Do you know what that means? What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's keep reading. Chapter six, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Belle, Rapunzel, and the big bad wolf had tracked the scent of the suspected thief all the way to a school which was currently at recess. Hmm, could be him, or her, or him, or her, or the teacher, or the principal. <gasps> this could go all the way to the top. Or it could be her. The eagle has landed. And these are my new shoes. Do you like them? They're a little big, don't you think? Thought they were just your size. <gasps> who are you? <laughs> who are we? Um, I'm pretty sure you know who we are. We're Belle and Rapunzel, AKA the princesses you stole from. Princesses. Wow. What's with the hats though? Okay, they're detective hats, okay? Because we're solving a mystery. The mystery of the missing roads. <laughs> that was hilarious. And hairbrush. And magic mirror. And glass slippers. And it looks like we just caught our culprit. Wait. Hey, wait up. We need our stuff back. Wolf, help. Wolf, wolf. Ah! Ah! I mean, hi, what's up guys? Hand over the goods. Fine. Now, why did you take this stuff? These are important things to us and our friends. It isn't very nice to take things from people. I know, but you're real fairy tale princesses and I'm just a regular girl. I wanted to be special. I thought if I had special princess stuff, like glass slippers and a magic mirror, I could be just like you. Oh, well that's kind of sweet actually. Yeah, I can't be mad at that. <laughs> But why all the mysterious clues and the dressing up like a wolf to throw us off? I like mystery novels almost as much as fairy tales. I thought it would be fun. Oh, now I get it. It was actually pretty fun. Yeah, it was. It was? Yeah. Wait, why do you not think you're special? I don't live in a fairy tale. My life isn't enchanted. I don't have any magical stuff or a fairy godmother or anything like that. Listen, oh, wait, what's your name? Sally. <laughs> Listen, Sally, you're super special. You wrote really funny clues with cool rhymes and you really had us guessing. Yeah? You think I'm funny? Yes, and very creative. We were totally on a wild goose chase. You might grow up and write your own fairy tales or mystery stories one day. Really? You think I could do that? Totes. <laughs> but we do still need to take all that princess stuff back. I know. Wait, 
Where's my enchanted rose? Oh, the rose was dying, so I put it in some water. It's in the science lab. No, 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 no. We have to save it. Oh, no. Run! This way. Hey, it totally is pizza day. Cool. No! by the bell. You know, me, Bell. <laughs> Woohoo! Hi, Bell. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Looks like you saved the day, Bell. My prince, you're back. And now the big wedding can commence. Wow, I can't believe I'm in a real fairy tale wedding. This is so cool. Yeah, great food. Did you try the sushi? Mmm. Hi guys, most of you don't know me. I'm Sally. I stole Belle's enchanted rose and almost ruined the wedding. But I wrote a poem for the happy couple and I'd like to read it if that's okay. Of course it is. <laughs> Here goes. Roses are red, violets are blue. It's lovely to see a love so true. Love strong enough to break a spell. A love you find in a fairy tale. A tale as old as time, a tale told in rhyme. I wish you all the joy and laughter, the happiest happily ever after. That's amazing! <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> to Belle and her prince. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Roses are red, violets are blue. P.S. Sorry again for stealing from you. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Thanks for the poem. The big mystery had been solved. The wedding was a blast and everyone was happy. Belle had traded in her detective hat for a wedding tiara, but she kept the detective hat close by. Just in case I need to solve a case. That sounded a lot cooler in my head. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. I just love happy endings. Hi kids, I'm Miss Booksy and this is story time. Today we're reading The Wizard of Oz. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Hi, I lived in a place called Kansas with my aunt and uncle. <laughs> uncle Henry and Aunt Em. Hello. Hello. We lived on the prairie, which is a great big piece of land that stretches for miles and miles and miles and miles and is very flat. So flat and empty that you could stand in your front yard and see all around you. Oh look, there's Farmer Ted. Hey Farmer Ted. <laughs> he can't hear me of course, he's way too far away. What? <laughs> Life on our farm was very hard. Aunt Em and Uncle Henry worked so hard that they never even had time to smile. In fact, when I was little, Aunt Em had completely forgotten what happiness sounded like. So whenever I laughed, she would do this. <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy, you startled me. Everything at our house looked sad. The hot sun had baked everything until the land and all the buildings and even the people looked dried out and gray. That is so sad. Yeah, just like that. Just like an old black and white movie. The only thing that made me happy was my little dog Toto. <laughs> Hi Toto. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Is it you? Is it you? <laughs> Sorry, but come on, look at how cute he is. Okay, on with the story. Here's where things get exciting. So, one day Toto and I were playing fetch with the stick. <laughs> That's literally the only toy either of us had, but we made the best of it. <laughs> when we heard a crazy laugh sound. It sounded like a train. I know because I rode a train once all the way to Oklahoma. <laughs> anyway, the sound was getting louder and louder and louder. Toto, we have to hide. I think a freight train is coming for us or something. Wait, but there aren't any tracks here. How in the heck? Ah, a flying cow. Dorothy, a cyclone's coming. Cyclone? Oh no, cyclones are super scary. You know what a cyclone is, right? Tornado, twister, dust devil. Ah, this is scary. Yeah, that. Toto, the house is totally flying. Oh my, this is even more exciting than the train ride. I wonder when we're gonna land, or where we're gonna land. Oh, oh Toto, I think we've landed. I hope we're not too far from home. 
I wouldn't know the first thing about moving a house back into the yard. Wow. Okay, we're definitely far from home. I bet we're even farther than Oklahoma. <laughs> What's that? A kitty cat? <laughs> <laughs> hey, who are you? He's a munchkin, and he's very grateful to you, noble sorceress. Grateful? To me? Why? Because you squished the Wicked Witch of the East. What? Me? No way! I wouldn't even squish a fly! Ask Toto. But you did squish her. Or your house did anyway. Look! But I didn't do that on purpose, I promise! Don't worry, we're happy she's gone. She was a very wicked witch who ruled over the munchkins for hundreds of years. Really? Yes, she was wicked. She was awful! She was the worst. Are you a munchkin? No, dear, I'm the witch of the north. Oh, a witch? A, a witch? Oh, no. But you seem nice. I thought all witches were wicked. I'm a good witch. Unfortunately, a good witch's powers are never as strong as a wicked one's. But now there is only one wicked witch left. Ah, uh, where? Not here, sillies. The last wicked witch rules over the west. And she's even more wicked than her sister. Hey, she's gone. Did she come back to life? Oh, no. Zombie witches must be the absolute worst. No, no. See, when a witch is defeated, she disappears. Poof, like magic. Yay! The munchkins love magic. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, check this out. Ah! Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, It was only a trick. I thought you liked magic tricks. Magic's supposed to be nice. That was scary. Sheesh, tough crowd. I probably ought to get back to Kansas. Are you the good witch of Kansas? Me? No, there are no witches in Kansas. <laughs> but you did fly here. Oh, no, that was just my house. <laughs> my house did the flying, but I can't fly. <laughs> I promise I'm not a witch. So anyway, how do I get back? Is there a train or something? Nope, guess you'll just have to stay. Yay, you can be our queen. All hail queen, what's your name? Dorothy? All, All hail, hail Queen, Queen Dorothy! Dorothy. Hooray! Yeah! Hurrah! What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on! Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The munchkins cheered and celebrated their new queen. All, All hail, hail Queen Dorothy! Our queen! But Dorothy didn't wanna be queen, she just wanted to go home. I don't wanna live in, wait, what is this place called? Oz, dear. You are in the land of Oz. Why are you sad? Your house is right here. Yes, but it's not in the right place. And I'm sure Uncle Henry and Aunt Em must be so confused. They've never had their whole house just disappear like this. Let us cheer you up. Quick, someone tell a joke. Why didn't the Wicked Witch of the East cross the road? Why? Because you squished her with your house. <laughs> <laughs> what, too soon? Okay, that's pretty good, but how about this one? <laughs> I just flew in from Kansas, and boy, my house is tired. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay, anyway, so we were talking about how I might get home. Can't go to the south. It's a great big desert where no one could survive. Except for the quadlings, but they eat sand and drink sunshine. Weird, next. And you can't go east because there are big mountains with giant birds and wapangs. Don't know what that is, but it sounds scary. Next. <laughs> and you could try and go west, but that's where the other wicked witch lives, and she is seriously wicked. No thanks. <laughs> Guys, what am I gonna do? Well, you could go center. Go center? Yes, go straight to the center of Oz, to the city of emeralds. That's where the wizard lives. He can help you get home. The wizard? Is he wicked? Oh, not at all. He's very wise. Well, how do I get to the center? To get to the city of emeralds, one must follow the road of yellow bricks. Road of yellow bricks? That road right there. Will it be dangerous? I will bless you with as much good magic as I can, but you must be careful. Good luck, Dorothy. I'm too tired and hungry to start my journey now. May I stay here a night, Munchkins? Of course you can, Queen Dorothy. 
The Munchkins were so excited to have Dorothy stay with them, even if it were only for one night. They prepared a feast of beautiful fruits that Dorothy had never seen, and lots of tiny cakes filled with candy and ice cream. Delicious! We want you to have these, Queen Dorothy. Me? Really? Well, you are the one who defeated the Wicked Witch, and they're also way too big for our munchkin feet. They're really beautiful. And legend says they're magic. Maybe they'll protect you on your journey to the Emerald City. Yay! Magic to the rescue! Well, they are super comfy, and they do match my dress. <laughs> okay, I'll take them. The next morning, Dorothy and Toto said goodbye to the munchkins and began their trip down the yellow brick road when they passed a farm where something odd caught Dorothy's eye. Toto, look at that scarecrow. He almost looks like a real man, doesn't he? <laughs> Did you just wink? Maybe. <laughs> hey, you can talk? I've never seen a talking scarecrow. Well, how do you do, Mr. Scarecrow? Not very well. Oh, no? A lot of crows here? It's not that. I'm just very uncomfortable up here. I mean, I got a pole stuck in my back. But all scarecrows do. Well, trust me, it's terrible. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Who's that? The munchkin who put you up there? No, the crows. Ugh, ah! oh, get out of here. Oh, right. <laughs> well, why don't you just get down from there? That would be amazing. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, wait, I know. It's because I don't have a brain. You don't? Nope, nothing but straw between my ears. That's too bad. I really like having a brain. At least I think I do. But it's my brain that makes me think that. Uh, I don't get it. Sorry, I'll help you down. Huzzah! So, what's your name? Oh, how impolite of me. I'm Dorothy from Kansas. I'm on my way to see the Wizard of Oz. The Wizard? I bet he has brains. Yes, and he's going to help me get back home. Hey, maybe he could give you some brains. Why didn't I think of that? Mm, the whole brain thing. <laughs> oh, right, the brain thing. See, it's really annoying. Well, it's settled. You'll come with me to the Emerald City, and the wizard will help me get to Kansas, and he'll give you a break. Huzzah! And off they went to see the wonderful Wizard of Oz. What do you think is going to happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter 3, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. There they are, Dorothy, Toto, and the Scarecrow traveling the yellow brick road. They walked for miles and miles, and finally, Ew! I'm pooped! Let's just sit down and rest for a while. Okay. Wait, why? Because I'm tired and hungry. That means I need to eat something? I'm never hungry. And that's a good thing because my mouth is only painted on. If I cut a hole there, all my straw would fall out. Then you'd have a very funny shaped head. It's true. Dorothy, can you tell me more about Kansas? Sure. I live there with my Aunt Em and Uncle Henry and Toto, of course. <laughs> it's very quiet, except for when there's a cyclone and everything is all gray. <laughs> Not beautiful and colorful like here. Well, why do you want to go back if it's so nice here? Because Kansas is my home and there's no place like home. Oh, so cute. Then why did you come here in the first place? I didn't mean to. My house just landed here after a storm. Long story. <laughs> and then yada yada, I squished the Wicked Witch of the East and now I have her shoes. Do you like them? They are very pretty. But wait, did you say you squished the Wicked Witch of the East? Yes, but not on purpose. The Munchkins were very happy. <laughs> I'm their queen now. Wow. But enough about me. Tell me your story. Me? I don't know anything. I was only made one day ago. Ooh, tell me about that. Okay. I was made by a farmer. First he made my head and he painted on ears. Then I could hear. Next I had eyes and I could see. Then the farmer painted on a nose. I could smell corn and crows. Ah! Yikes, ah! crows. Luckily I couldn't scream because I didn't have a mouth yet. So the farmer didn't know that I was afraid of the crows. Imagine a scarecrow scared of crows. Not good. When the farmer finished putting me all together, he stuck me up on a stick in the middle of the field. I didn't like being left alone with all those crows, so I tried to run, but it was no use. I was stuck. 
The crows all laughed at me and pecked my head and ate up all the farmer's corn right in front of me. They were so mean. That's so sad. Well, except for one very old crow. Just ignore those silly crows. But why aren't they afraid of me? I'm supposed to be a scarecrow. They know you're stuck up here and don't know how to get down. If only you had a brain. And I decided right then that I would get a brain one day. I just didn't know how. Then you came along, and now we're on our way to get me a brain from the great Oz of Emerald City. Speaking of, I'm ready to journey on. Let's go. Dorothy, Toto, and the Scarecrow set off again on the road of yellow bricks. Everything was going just fine, until... What was that? You're asking me? I don't have a brain. I don't really know stuff. Oh, right. <laughs> Wait, I think I hear it again. Shh, Toto! I hope it's not a crow. Ah! Don't chop me! I would never. Why are you groaning? I've been stuck in this position for a whole year. It's very uncomfortable. Well, what can I do to help? Get my oil can, please. Oh, my joints are rusted stiff. Get my neck first! Ah, much better. Wow, this is so fun! Now my arm, please! What a relief! I thought I might be holding that forever! Feel better? A million times better! You saved my life! Dorothy saved my life, too! And she squished the Wicked Witch of the East! Whoa! Are you a witch? No! Why does everyone keep asking me that? I'm just a girl from Kansas. We're on our way to the Wizard of Oz. I'm getting a brain. And I'm hoping to get back home. Do you know the great Oz? I never met him, but hey, do you think he could give me a heart? You don't have a heart? How sad, I think. It is sad. Enough to make me cry. But if I cry, I'll get all stiff and rusty again. Well, you absolutely must join us on our trip. To the wizard we go. Wait, oil can. Good call. Okay, now to the wizard we go. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Hey, look, 475 schmiles to Emerald City. I think they mean miles. No, distance is measured in schmiles in Oz. How long are they? I don't know. Neither do I. But maybe that's because we don't have brains. You don't have a brain either? Nope. I used to have both. And believe me, the heart is more important. Why is that? The heart is the way to love. Love is happiness. And happiness is the best thing in the world. Well, how did you lose your heart in the first place? It's a long story. We like stories. <laughs> OK. I was a wood chopper, chopping trees and selling the wood for a living. Then I met a girl and we fell in love. I asked her to marry me and she said yes. I was so happy. Yay, what a happy ending. There's more. She lived with a selfish old woman who didn't want her to get married. She wanted the girl to stay and work for her forever. The woman went to the wicked witch and paid her to curse me. A curse? Oh no. What did the witch do? She took my leg. How was I supposed to work standing on just one leg? Oh my! I went to a tinsmith who made me a new leg made of tin. The old woman was very mad. She paid for another curse and this time I lost my other leg. The tin smith built me another leg of tin. Then what happened? Next, the witch cursed my arms and my head and all of me until I was a man made of tin. But the girl still loved me, and I loved her. The wicked witch did the worst thing she could possibly do. What? what? She cursed my heart. <coughs> the tinsmith didn't know how to make a new heart for me. And without a heart, I couldn't feel love. I've been sad and lonely ever since. What a sad story, I think. Maybe if I had a brain, I would have understood it better. We'll get you your heart. The wizard is wise and good, and he'll help all of us. I just know it. 
The gang continued toward the City of Emeralds, saddened by the Tin Woodman story. But soon, sadness gave way to scaredness. These woods are kind of scary. I wonder how many more schmiles until we're out of here. We're safe. I have my oil can. The Scarecrow can't feel anything. And you have the mark of the Good Witch and the Magic Slippers. But Toto, what's protecting him? We are. Ah, we are? Oh, Whew, that was a close one. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. A big beast like you biting a poor little dog. I didn't bite him. No, but you tried to. You're nothing but a great big coward. I know, I'm sorry. Going after a scarecrow, a tin man, and a tiny dog. Oh, scarecrow, that sounds scary. See, I'm the most cowardly coward who ever lived. It's okay to be scared sometimes, but you can't go around picking on smaller things just so you can feel brave. Where'd you get your courage? I don't know. I guess I've just naturally been tough. I wish I was tough. I've always been afraid of everything. Bears, spiders, kittens. Kittens? Who's afraid of kittens? Mice are, but I'm afraid of mice too. Hi, Vey. Let's go, guys. Wait. You're just gonna leave me here? Out in these scary woods all by myself? Let me come with you. I'll protect you. Oh, you will, will you? I'm really sorry I scared you. It was a silly old thing to do, I know. I just wanted to look fearless. Oh, please tell Toto I'm sorry too. Wait, we're going to see the Wizard of Oz. I'm going to get a brain. And I'm getting a heart. Maybe the wizard could give you courage? Is the wizard very scary? Wait, never mind. I don't even care. I'll go ask the Wizard of Oz for courage. See, you're already a little braver. <laughs> what are you asking the wizard for? I just want to go home to Kansas. Is Kansas a scary place? Wait, wait, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Then let's go find that wizard. What do you think is going to happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter five, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, the Lion, and Toto were officially off to see the wizard. The Scarecrow would ask for brains, the Tin Man for a heart, and the Lion would get some courage. And that is, if he could work up the nerve to ask. <laughs> and of course, Dorothy and Toto would ask the good wizard to get back home to Kansas. All they had to do was follow the road of yellow bricks. Uh-oh. Now why wouldn't they build a yellow brick bridge as well? It doesn't look so far. I could probably jump across. Well, look who's being brave. <laughs> I'd be way too scared to cross. Now why'd you have to go and say that? For a second I forgot I was a Freddy cat. You can do it, don't be scared. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. But you're gonna have to carry each of us across one at a time. You mean I have to do it more than once? Take me first. I'm made of straw, so if you drop me, I won't be hurt. All you have to do is stuff me back together. Good thinking. And I don't even have a brain. And me with no courage. What a team. Here we go. Wow, this is so fun. Woohoo, you did it. I knew you could. <laughs> the cowardly lion bravely carried across the others one by one. Great work. <laughs> now let's go meet the wizard. The gang marched forth and soon found themselves in a very dark and scary forest. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> nope, nope, not okay. What is that? Kalitas. What's a Kalita? A very scary creature. Well, you thought Toto was scary, so. <laughs> Kalitas had the body of a bear and the head of a tiger. Oh my. Oh, that is scary. Told you. Oh, what are we gonna do? Run! That's way too far to jump across. How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Hey, the Tin Man could cut down that tree and we could use it to walk across. Splendid idea. Okay. Steady now. The Kalitas are coming. Oh, yay, we all made it. Kalitas. Ah! 
I've got it! Tin Man, chop this side of the tree! was close. Great job, Tinny. <laughs> hey, it was the Scarecrow's idea. You sure you don't already have a brain in there? <laughs> Dress straw. I'm sure of it. If you say so. You guys ready to hit the yellow brick road again? Just a second. My heart is racing. Ooh, can I listen? Wow, what a ticker. You'll get one soon. And I'll get my courage. And I'll get my brain. Let's go. It had been a long and scary journey so far, but they were determined to find the wonderful Wizard of Oz, even if it meant they might run into the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter six, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Dorothy, Toto, the Scarecrow, the Tin Woodman, and the Lion continued along the road of yellow bricks, anxious and excited to find the wizard. Look, a river! Oh good, I sure am thirsty after all that jumping and running. Um, guys, how are we going to get across? Again? Okay, seriously, who designed this road? This is just poor planning. It's too wide for me to jump. It's too wide for the tree thing. Hey, what if I chop some wood and build a raft? Great idea! <laughs> the Tin Woodman got to work and soon built a perfectly seaworthy vessel. The gang hopped on and began to paddle toward the other shore. There she is! The brat who squished my sister! It's payback time, sweetheart! <sighs> Suddenly, the wind picked up and the river began rushing. Oh no! We're floating away from the yellow brick road! And straight for the land of the Wicked Witch of the West! The scariest witch of all! The witch? Oh no. What are we gonna do? Well, I can't swim. I'll fall apart. And I'll rest. Paddle harder. They all paddled as hard as they could, but the poor scarecrow got his paddle stuck in the mud, and the raft went rushing on down the river without him. Scarecrow! Dorothy! We'll come back for you, I promise. Well, here I am stuck on a pole again, and this time in the middle of a river. I guess I'll never get any brains. Maybe I can swim against the current. What about us? Grab a hold of my tail and I'll pull you to shore. Ah, there's a fish! It's just a tiny little goldfish. It touched me! Phew, we made it. But where are we? We're so far from the yellow brick road and our poor scarecrow. This is so sad. Don't cry, you'll rust. We'll just have to walk along the river until we find him. Dorothy, Toto, the lion, and the tin man walked along the river looking for their friend. <gasps> there he is! Shoo, ah! go away! Whew, that was a close one. Dorothy, you came back. Of course, we're here to save you. Okay, yeah, um, how are we gonna do that? There's no wood on this side of the river, so I can't build another raft! Lion, can you swim out there to rescue him? I'm so tired and weak from all the swimming. Plus, I'm scared of crows. A lion scared of a crow? That's silly. Ah, big stork! Our friend is out there stuck. We have to save him. He's coming with us to find the Wizard of Oz. This isn't the right road. You need the yellow one. We know, we just got a little off track. <laughs> but now we can't leave until we save the Scarecrow. I can try to lift him. Mind you, I'm used to carrying babies, not straw people. He might be too heavy. Oh, he's very light. Okay. Oh no, incoming! Oh shush, I'm here to save ya. Whoa! Hooray! Thank you so much! <laughs> no prob. Well, I better be on my way. Watch out for the Wicked Witch of the West. She's a tough nut. We will. See ya. <laughs> well, gang, shall we? Yup. I think the yellow brick road is just across this field of flowers. Ooh, poppies. They're so pretty. <laughs> yes, they are. And just wait until you smell them. The Wicked Witch of the West knew these poppies gave off a very powerful scent, one that would make even the largest beast fall into a never-ending sleep. 
When you're asleep, I'll take back those sapphire slippers, and then you'll be powerless! I'm getting sleepy. <sighs> Me too. Sweet dreams. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter seven, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. We really need to get back to the yellow brick road. But maybe just a little nappy wappy foist. Yeah, <sighs> nighty night. <sighs> That's right, go to sleep, Dorothy. Now, time for Mama to get some new shoes. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Must be having a nightmare, scaredy cat. Okay, back to the shoes. Ha, they're mine. Wait a second, they're stuck. The witch pulled with all her might, but she could not remove the shoes. They must be protected by magic. Well, I also have magic. And my flying monkeys. The Wicked Witch of the West summoned her flying monkeys. Sup, boss? Take this girl to my castle. Aye, aye. <laughs> How is Dorothy going to get home now? Sleep tight, boys. When you wake, your little friend Dorothy will be long gone. And the sapphire slippers will be mine. All mine. <laughs> Once the flying monkeys had carried Dorothy away from the poppies, the flower's power wore off and Dorothy woke up. Ah! This frightened the monkeys. Ah! And they promptly dropped Dorothy to the ground below. Ugh. Ow! Oh, okay, that was scary. But look, I'm back on the yellow brick road. But what about my friends? If I go back for them, the poppies will make me fall asleep forever. What to do? Dorothy thought and thought, but she couldn't come up with a solution. Until... Wait a second. These shoes are supposed to be magical. And the good witch supposedly blessed me with some kind of magic. I must be able to do something. Hmm. Dorothy tried to get her magic shoes to come up with something magic. She tapped them together. She tried doing a dance routine. She tried saying some magic sounding words. Ta-da! Abracadabra! Kazam! But nothing seemed to work. It's useless. What is? Who said that? I did, down here. That is amazing. Oh, hi. <laughs> you seemed upset just now. Anything I can do to help? I don't think so. My friends and I are supposed to go see the Wizard of Oz, but we fell asleep in that field of poppies over there. But then I woke up and these flying monkeys were carrying me away. I screamed and they dropped me. And here I am. Flying monkeys, eh? They work for the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh no. But it's a good thing you got out. The poppies are very dangerous. Your friends will sleep forever if we don't save them. But how do we do that? The other mice and I can go get them. We've lived here forever and the poppies don't bother us. But my friends are way too big for mice to carry. They may be too much for one mouse alone, but the whole crew, piece of cake. The mouse squeaked out a call to the other mice and soon there were hundreds of mice gathering around Dorothy. You wait here, we'll be back in a sec. And the mice scurried off into the field of poppies. Dorothy waited and soon she saw her friends, still in a deep sleep, being carried across the flowers. You should have warned us that one of your friends is a scary lion! Oh, he's not that scary at all. Watch! <laughs> Eek! Mouse! See? What's going on? We all fell asleep in the field of poppies, and then the wicked witch's flying monkeys took me. But then I fell down here, and these lovely mice helped save you. How kind! And look, we're so close to the Emerald City! Let's go! Bye-bye, mouse friends. Thanks again for helping us. Anytime. Goodbye. And once again, Dorothy and her friends were off to see the wonderful Wizard of Oz. What do you think is going to happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter 8, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Dorothy and the gang skipped along the yellow brick road, and before long, they saw it. <gasps> the Emerald City. Whoa. Let's go. Hello. Yes. We're here to see the wizard. And why, may I ask? Because I want a brain. And I a heart. I want courage. And I want to go home to Kansas. Hold, please. Mm -hmm. Yes? Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I see. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, very well. Okay, goodbye. The wizard will see you. Wonderful! Yes, he is. Right this way. Dorothy and the gang were led through the all-green, very sparkly, emerald-laden city. Wow! Pretty! I find this green very soothing. You first. Wish me luck. I hope they'll be okay. Hello? What do you want? Hi, sir. I want to ask you, please, if you will help me return home. Where is home? Kansas, sir. Oh, you don't say. Oh, have you been there? <clears throat> and why should I grant you this request? Because you're wonderful, and everyone says so. Even the good witch of the North said so. She did? I mean, how do you know her? Oh, I met her in the Munchkin Land. See, I landed in Oz rather accidentally. My house, it got swept up in a tornado, and I... It landed on the Wicked Witch of the East, and it squished her. Long story short, everybody told me to come here and that you could help me get home to Kansas. So, will you help me? You squish the Wicked Witch? Yes. I will help you get home. You will? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! But, you must do something first. Anything. Your wish is my command. You must defeat the Wicked Witch of the West. Hold up, what? You squish the Wicked Witch of the East. Now go squish the Wicked Witch of the West. But I didn't mean to hurt the first witch. That was an accident. I couldn't hurt anyone on purpose. Not even a Wicked Witch. Then I cannot help you. Next! Dorothy was devastated. She went out to the others and tried to hide her disappointment. That is so sad. How did it go? It was interesting. Good luck in there, Scarecrow. But the Scarecrow went in and came out just as disappointed as Dorothy. Then the Tin Man, then the Lion. Turns out they all got the same answer. Unless they defeated the Wicked Witch of the West, the wizard would not help them. I'll never get a brain. I'll never have a heart. I'll never get courage. And I'll never see Aunt Em or Uncle Henry or Kansas ever again. <laughs> What's wrong? The wizard told us he can't help us unless we go squish the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> Oof, scary. Well, good luck. Well, we're not going to do it. Come on, guys. Let's go. Where to? I don't know. Maybe we can go look for the Good Witch of the North. Maybe she'll help us. But when Dorothy and her friends left the Emerald City, they were in for a surprise. <laughs> oh, Dorothy! The Wicked Witch of the West? Run! But the Wicked Witch was too fast for them. Her flying monkeys swooped in and snatched up the whole gang. Take that scarecrow and scatter his straw around until he's just a pile of clothes. And put that tin man in the recycling bin. Put the lion in a cage and sell him to the zoo. What about her? Take Dorothy to my castle. I'll take care of her. <laughs> now fly, monkeys, fly! Uh-oh, kids. This does not look good. What do you think is going to happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter 9. Here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The Wicked Witch of the West had ordered the flying monkeys to carry Dorothy and her friends to different locations. The Tin Man was to be put in the recycling bin. The Scarecrow pulled into pieces and the Lion locked away and sold to the zoo. Dorothy's fate was to be delivered to the Witch's Castle, a visit she was not looking forward to. Hey, guys, how about just dropping me off here? I'll, I'll run along and I'll never bother the Wicked Witch again. No way. Yeah, sorry, kid. You do not want to make the Wicked Witch angry. Yeah, I guess you're right. But the good news is, we won't hurt you. Okay, good to know. Thanks, but why? You wear the sapphire slippers. They're magic. Yeah, I heard that, but they haven't done anything magical so far. Well, you better watch out. The witch is definitely going to try to take those. The witch? Oh, no. The flying monkeys were right. The Wicked Witch of the West wanted nothing more than to get those sapphire slippers from Dorothy. When she arrived at the witch's castle, Dorothy was forced to do chores. And all the while, the witch watched, just waiting to take the shoes. Gotta get those shoes. Don't you want to change before you sweep up all that garbage? You'll get your shoes dirty. I'm okay, thanks. Oh, that floor is going to get slippery. Don't you think you should wear some less slippery shoes? Get it? 
Because they're slippers? But seriously, give me the shoes! I got it. Good one. But no, I'm okay in these shoes. Jeez, she really wants these shoes. And why is this castle so dirty? Ew. The witch waited and waited, but the only time Dorothy ever removed her slippers was when she took a bath. But the wicked witch was dreadfully afraid of water, so she never dared try to steal them during bath time. I guess I'll just have to wait a little longer. Drat! Then one day, the witch's wait was finally over. How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Dorothy was dusting a super high shelf when one of her slippers slipped right off. I got it! <laughs> It's mine! Now give me the other one! Gimme! No! You gimme! You're powerless with only one shoe! So are you! Give it! No! Come on! Stop it! Ah! Now look what you've done! What's another mess? You make me clean all day anyway! Not that! I'm melting! Say what now? I'm melting! You melted me! You knew I couldn't touch water! I thought you were just afraid of it. Now you've destroyed me just like you destroyed my sister. You're a terrible girl. You're a bad, no good, stinking. Blah, 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 blah. But the witch melted before she could get out the last insult. Oh, I guess that's why she hated water. Who would have thunk it? Suddenly, Dorothy heard a familiar sound. It was a clanking of metal, a kind of swooshing sound, followed by a ferocious roar. Guys, how did you get here? I thought I'd never see you again. Wow, this is so fun. No time to explain now. We have to rescue you from the Wicked Witch. Come on. Thanks, but it's all good. She melted. <laughs> uh? oh? I'll explain later too. Let's go see the wizard. Oh yeah, now he'll grant our wishes. Hooray! Hooray! The gang set out on their journey back to the Emerald City. The Scarecrow would get his brains, the Tin Man would get his heart, the Cowardly Lion would get his courage, and Dorothy and Toto would finally go back home to Kansas. And when they arrived, the wizard did not seem happy to see them. What are you doing here? I told you not to come back until you destroyed the Wicked Witch. And we have your greatness. This is not a joke. I know, she's gone. Dorothy melted her! Accidentally, but yeah, she's gone. <laughs> so we've come back so you can grant our wishes. Let's keep reading. Oh, I forgot to say please. Please, sir. <laughs> I cannot grant your wishes. Now go away. We, what? What do you mean you can't grant our wishes? So I can't go home to Kansas? <laughs> I won't get a brain. I won't get a heart. I won't get any courage. This is baloney. You're supposed to be some wise and wonderful wizard. You're a charlatan, a humbug. Where are you? If you won't give me courage, then at least get some for yourself and come out and face us. Who are you? The wizard? What do you think is going to happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter 10, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. So you're the mighty and wonderful Wizard of Oz? Well, I'm actually from Omaha, Nebraska. See, I landed here accidentally some years ago and I somehow convinced everyone that I was a wizard. And well, here we are. So you're not a wizard. So you don't have any power. Um, no, not at all. Then we came all this way and did all of this for nothing? But you did destroy the Wicked Witch. That's a pretty big deal. How did you do it? Dorothy and the gang explained how it all went down. First, of course, they had been captured by the flying monkeys. The scarecrow had been pulled apart and scattered in a field. He lay in pieces when he suddenly had a bright idea. He knew that crows are pretty clever, so he called out and asked them to help put him back together, and they did. Once he was back to his old self, the scarecrow went to find the Tin Man. The Tin Man had been sold for scrap at a salvage yard and was feeling sadder than ever. But the scarecrow put him back together, polished him up, cause he had rusted quite a bit from crying. That is so sad. And they set off to find the lion. The lion had been locked up in a tiny cage and sold to the zoo. It was not a nice zoo at all. It was gloomy and full of terrible creatures like Kalinas. Remember those? Very scary. Not a good place for a lion with no courage. 
there, the scarecrow had another bright idea. He asked the Tin Man to use a bit of his metal to pick open the lock on the cage. And then the lion was free. It was time to save Dorothy. But first, the Tin Man stopped to unlock each and every cage because it made him too sad to see any creature locked up, even Kalita's. The Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Lion headed toward the Wicked Witch's castle. They were all very scared, especially when the flying monkeys saw them and swooped in. But the Lion put on his brave face and roared, making all the monkeys fly away shrieking. He was ready to take on the Wicked Witch too, but when they got inside the castle, they found Dorothy had already melted her. And so, there you have it. That's how we defeated the Wicked Witch. Too bad it was all for nothing. That's not true. You've saved everyone in Oz from the Wicked Witch. You'll be celebrated here forever, Dorothy. You'll be a star. That is amazing. But I just want to go home. And I want a brain. I want my heart. And I want my courage. Scarecrow, you already have brains. How else could you have figured out how to put yourself and the Tin Man back together? It was your idea how to pick the lock on the cage, too. Hey, yeah. I guess it was. See? You've had brains the whole time. And you, Tin Man, you've shown you have a heart. You freed all the animals in the zoo. Well, they looked unhappy. I wanted to help. That's heart. And Lion, you showed bravery when you stormed the witch's castle. And you certainly seemed brave a moment ago when you were roaring at me. Oh yeah, sorry about that. No worries. But don't you guys see? You've had what you were looking for the whole time. But what about Dorothy? Hmm, Dorothy. Let's see what we can do. Hey, what about the magic shoes? Dorothy, can you use them to get home? Magic shoes? You've got the sapphire slippers? That makes you the most powerful person in Oz. Do you know how to use them? Mm, nope, no idea. I'll bet the good witch knows. Scarecrow, you're really on a roll here with all the brain stuff. That's a great idea. So the wizard sent out a call to the good witch of the north. Yay! Magic to the rescue! Dorothy, my dear, how are you? I'm so glad you made it to the Emerald City to see the great and powerful wizard. Yeah, about that. We'll chat later, but now we need to get this girl home to Kansas. And we were thinking... I was thinking... I do that now. Yes, the Scarecrow was thinking you would know how to use the magic of the Sapphire Slippers to get home. So do you? Oh yes, it's quite simple. Take three steps in the sapphire shoes and say your wish. And then I'll be home. And then you'll be home. What? It's that easy? <laughs> Wait, you have to say goodbye first. Oh, right. I almost forgot that I would never see you again. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't. You'll rust. Tin Man, I'll never forget how kind you are. You have a wonderful heart. <laughs> Thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> Someone better get his oil can. Lion, you're braver and fiercer than any Kalita in the whole land of Oz. Thank you for protecting us on our journey. Oh shucks, Dorothy. I'll miss ya. I'll even miss your terrifying dog, Toto. Be nice, Toto. Scarecrow, you've been with me the longest. I don't think we would have made it without your quick thinking. I think you're the real wizard here. Oh, Dorothy, do you have to go? I do. I miss my family and my house and... Hey, wait a sec. My house is in Munchkinland. Huh, I wonder where Auntie Em and Uncle Henry live now. Well, I better go. I love you guys and I'll miss you. Come on, Toto. <gasps> we'll miss you. We love you. Bye, Dorothy. Dorothy took three steps and said, Take me home to Kansas. And in a flash, Dorothy and Toto were back in Kansas. It was more colorful than she had remembered, but maybe that's just because Dorothy was so happy to be home. Hi everyone, you've all heard of Mulan, right? You know, the fierce warrior who saves all of China. Let's read her story and some other awesome stories. And mom and dad, have you followed us on Instagram yet? Click the link in the description. Hello kids, gather round. It's fairy tale time. Today's story goes way back to ancient China. It's the story of Mulan! Once upon a time, a baby girl named Hua Mulan was born. She was a very brave little girl. By the time she was five years old, she'd already tamed a tiger. Bad 
kitty walked on a super high tightrope and rescued a kitten from a tree. She was so brave, she wasn't even scared of the dark. Well, as long as her nightlight was on. When Mulan was older, but not quite a grown-up, she heard some very bad news. There was going to be a battle, and one man from every family had to go fight the enemy. It was boys only back then. No girls allowed. In Milan's family, it was just her, her grandfather, and her baby brother. Mulan looked at her grandpa. He was old, so old. He just did crossword puzzles all day and couldn't hear anything, even if you shouted. Hi, Grandpa. Huh? I said, hi. Huh? Grandpa's pretty old. He can't hear very well. Huh? Oh, bye. Then Mulan looked at her brother. He was so little. He couldn't even ride a horse into battle. They probably didn't even make uniforms in his size. Mulan knew what she had to do. She cut her hair, dressed up in her best fighting outfit, and bravely marched out to join the army. Along the way, she practiced being a boy. Hello there, Mister. Hey, dude. What's up, bro? When she reported for duty, nobody seemed to know she was a girl. Probably because she could do so many push-ups and was wicked good at swordplay. No one expected that from a young girl back then. Mulan quickly became the best soldier around. She was feeling pretty cool. And then the big horn sounded. Oh, by the way, that was a sign that the enemy was coming and it was time to fight. But don't be nervous, kids. Mulan was ready. She jumped on her horse and galloped towards the invaders, yelling like this. Yeah! The other soldiers joined in and charged, all yelling Mulan's fierce battle cry. Yeah! 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 This scared the socks off the invaders. Seriously, their socks flew right off. I've never seen anything like it. When she got to the general of the enemy army, he was curled up into a ball. He was so scared. He wasn't a very brave general. Please don't hurt me, sir. I don't want to hurt you, but you guys gotta go. You're being bullies. Thank you for your mercy. You're a good man. Thanks, but I'm an even awesomer girl. The general was confused, but that's okay. Mulan had won the battle. Later, there was a big celebration to honor the soldiers, especially the brave young person who had saved them all. Mulan wore her prettiest dress and put flowers in her hair. When she accepted her medal, everyone was like, "She's a girl! Awesome!" Wow. Whoa. Cool. Then they cheered and sang, "For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow." Which nobody can deny. And she was the end. Hi, I'm Gerda. I grew up in a place called Florida. You know, where everything is always happy and fun and super sunny. <laughs> Siggy. Sorry, Gerd. Wally overshot that one. Oops, can't control these things sometimes. Well, that's all right, guys. Who am I to get in the way of some fun in the sun, eh? <laughs> Just don't forget some sunscreen. As you can tell, I had a lot of friends, but no one made me happier than my most special friend of all. <sighs> Kay. <laughs> we did everything together, like fly kites, and build sandcastles, and make flowers. A rose for you, my lady. And go on awesome vacations to Kay's grandma in Alaska. Alaska, here we come! <laughs> hey Kay, what do Alaskans order at a restaurant? Um, I don't know. Ice burgers? <laughs> Get it? Ice burger? Well, I thought it was funny. Burr! Sure is cold out here. Good thing I packed my winter coat. What? It's not real. So anyway, Kay and I had a really fun trip in Alaska, but I was ready to go back home to sunshine and happiness. <laughs> That's when things got really, really not happy. There we were, sitting with the snowmen and eating ice cream when suddenly, ah, snow bees, oh, the meanest bees ever. 
Well, maybe we can give them just a little. Sharing is caring, eh? Oh, okay. But no more than one lick each. Ow, ow, ee, that hurts. Ow. Stop, stop, me no snow bees. Oh, stop right there. But it was too late. The snow bees had already stung Kay like a hundred times. Not to mention finish all his ice cream. We'll not let some snow bees ruin our vacation. Right, Kay? Right? Hmm. Mm, okay, I guess I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> that's, a, that's a funny joke, okay? <laughs> no, but seriously. I've had enough of your happiness, okay? Leave me alone. But I, I, I don't understand. I thought we were BFFs forever. You gave me a rose! I hate roses. Okay, you're probably just in pain from all those snow bee stings. Not to worry, I know just the trick. Nothing like a good reindeer sled ride to get you out of the blues. No, I hate reindeer. I hate sleds. I hate everything. Okay, I get it. It was my fault you got stung, but we were besties. <laughs> Guess I better get going. Sunshine State, here I come. I totally thought Kay would come after me, but he didn't. I was so angry at Alaska, I vowed never to come back again. They're back! Wahoo! Did you get me that snow globe I asked for? Uh-oh! How was I gonna tell them what happened? Uh, hi guys! So, funny story, Kay's actually not here. I thought you went with Kay to his grandma. I mean, if you wanted some time away from us, you could've just said so. What happened was, we were eating ice cream next to a snowman when a bunch of super mean snow bees totally attacked us and stung Kay like a zillion times. And he got really mad at me for letting him get stung. So he ordered me to leave him alone in Alaska. I can't believe I totally ruined everything. That boy is always happy and kind. Not to mention, he's got stars in his eyes whenever he sees you. Are you sure that was what happened? Yes, I'm sure, except... Except what? Except those snow bees sure look strange. They were all blue and icy and mean. Maybe they transferred their meanness, so that's what made Kay not so happy. Oh my, poor Kay. I'll get to the bottom of this if it's the last thing I do. Yeah, yeah, I know I said I'd never go back, but this was for Kay. Hit it, back to Alaska. I was determined to find Kay and bring back his happiness. Oh, we got this, guys. Uh, just a little further. There! Hold up! That's where we had our ice cream, just beside that snowman. Kay? Kay? It looks like we're too late. Hmm, if only the snowman could talk. I bet he'd know where Kay went. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. What's that, Mr. Snow? Mm-mm-mm. Mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm -hmm. Suddenly, I had an idea. Ah, <sighs> finally, something other than that carrot nose. You know, I can't even smell out of that thing. Yeah, okay, okay, now please, Mr. Snow, can you tell me if you've seen a dude, yay hi, leave from this spot? Why, yes, yes I did. What a brave young man, headed right down to the River of Doom. River of Doom? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Did I say doom? I mean flume. Like where kids go on log flume rides in the summer. It's right over there. Phew. <laughs> so there was still hope I could catch up with Kay at the river. If only I could get through all this snow. Don't move, Kay. On my way. Oh, this must be it. Kay? Okay. Are you there? Can you hear me? I sure can. Would you keep it down? Sorry, um, did you happen to see a guy, yay hi, come through here? Sure, I saw him. You did? Oh great, do you know where he went? He was standing right by the frozen ice water. Could have left, could have fallen in. Fallen in? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Relax girl, I need a quick rinse anyway. Nope, all clear, guess he left. Oh, thank goodness. Do you have any idea where he may have gone? There's a rose garden not too far off. Kinda nice if you like roses. 
That's it! Kay loves roses. I was positive I'd find him there, and we could finally leave this cold, scary place. Kay? Kay, where are you? Kay! Suddenly, I heard a voice. Who goes there? Uh, Kay? Is that you? No, it's me! But I still didn't see anyone. Me? Me who? Me, the tree! Hello? Ah! You can talk? I can even bark! <laughs> Get it? A little tree humor. I was just looking for my friend Kay. Yay, hi. Pretty cute if you ask me. Have you seen him? I have not, but... But? The scarecrow would know. Hey, Scary, did you see any guys come through here? Totally. He was heading towards the evil Snow Queen's palace. Shame. Seemed like a nice dude. The evil Snow Queen? Yeah. Coldest lady in all of Alaska. <laughs> Feel that chill? That's her, all right. Well, she is not gonna lay one icy finger on my friend. Sorry to interrupt. We were just looking for a young girl wearing a blue dress. Usually travels with a small pup named Toto. Hey, you look awfully familiar. Have we met? Uh, I don't believe so. I've got one of those faces, I guess. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, we were just finishing up a conversation- How about a yellow brick road? Have you seen one of those? I'm gonna let you guys hash this out. Scary, if you could just tell me which way to the palace, I'll be on my way. Straight ahead, lady. But be careful. Real dark and scary in those parts. Well, nothing's gonna stop me. I'm coming for you, Kay. Oh, and bye, guys. Good luck finding that blue dress girl and brick road. Gerda marched through the icy forest on her search for Kay. Then she remembered a safety rule her scout leader had taught her. When in doubt, shout. <laughs> Kay? Kay, where are you? Kay? Who are you? Who are you? I was taking a nap and you woke me up. So I'll ask the questions. Who are you? I'm Gerda P. Hobsworth, Girl Scout Ambassador and President of my school's Botany Club. Very impressive. I'm Lady Shannon Von Sol, Sorceress of Eternal Summer. It doesn't look or feel like Eternal Summer around here. Oh, well, not here, obviously. Come see. Sorry about all that shouting. I'm looking for my friend Kay. Word on the street is he went towards the Snow Queen's palace. Oh, she's a brat. Maybe even evil. Here we are. Still not getting any summer vibes. <laughs> Oh! Awesome! It's like paradise in here! It looks just like Florida. That's where I'm from. <laughs> it's always like summer there. Wonderful! Then you'll feel right at home here. Well, I can't stay. I have to go find Kay. But maybe we'll stop by on our way home? Oh, just stay for a bit. I have popsicles. Hmm, I love popsicles, but no thank you. I really have to go. Suit yourself. Oh, okay, so how do I get out? Gerda looked around but couldn't see the door anywhere. She hadn't been there long. How could she have already gotten lost? Everywhere I look, there's just more palm trees. They're everywhere. Oh, where did that sorceress lady go? Owie! Oh, darn coconut. Oh, oh, actually, now that I'm sitting, I realize I'm pretty tired. Ooh. You know, I think I'll just sleep a little and just... Uh, then I'll go find Kay. Gerda drifted off to sleep and found herself in a crazy dream. She had found Kay, except he was different. He was a prince. Wow, hey Kay. But Kay ignored her. Kay, I came to rescue you. Suddenly, a beautiful woman appeared. She was dressed head to toe in white silk and sparkly crystals. Wow, you're really shiny. <laughs> she bent to give Gerda a kiss on the top of her head. Wow, just like my grandma does. But when the woman in white kissed her, Gerda's hair turned to ice. Okay, not like my grandma. Then Gerda realized she was becoming completely frozen. Kay, help. But Kay looked on as if he didn't even hear her. Kay! <gasps> Scary, I hope Kay hasn't become frozen. Okay, I had my nap. Now I gotta go. But Gerda realized she still didn't know the way out of eternal summer. Where is Lady Shannon Von Sol? Hello? Hello, lady? It's like she tried to trap me in here. Wait a second. Doesn't sorceress really just mean witch? Oh no! She's a witch! Not necessarily. Oh? 
Sorcery is just magic, so technically there could be a nice sorceress. Oh, okay. But she isn't. Lady Shannon Von Sol isn't nice? She won't let me leave. I'm a prisoner. At night, I sleep in a cage. Well, it's really cold outside. I don't think a toucan can survive out there. I bet a toucan can too survive out there. Just wait till she puts you in a cage. Why would she want to put me in a cage? She's obsessed with summer and sunshine. You're from Florida, so you're like the most summery, sunshiny creature she's ever seen. Trust me, you gotta get out of here. Okay, well, how about this? You show me the door, and I'll smuggle you out with me. Deal! So Gerda followed the toucan through the eternal summer paradise, past all the palm trees and coconuts. Here it is! Let's bust out! Do you have a coat? Do I have a coat? I'm a bird! What do you think? So sassy. I have an idea. Fly in here. And where do you think you're going? I said, where do you think you're going? I'm just going to find my friend Kay. Kay? <laughs> but it's much too cold out here. Come back inside. Don't listen to her. Excuse me? I didn't say anything. Psst. Let me out. OK, I definitely heard something that time. Now. Run! Gerda ran and ran and ran and ran and ran, but the thing about Alaska is... Ice! Ah! Oh, owie! You're pretty clumsy, huh? Well, I'm not used to all this ice and snow. Brr, neither am I. It's freezing out here. Oh, I know, but I have to save my friend Kay. He was taken by the Snow Queen. Oof, she's the evilest queen ever! Yeah, I heard she's mega scary. Oh, poor Kay. See? Doesn't he look nice? He's probably so cold and afraid. Hey! What's the big idea? Stop it! Are you trying to tell me something? Can you speak? Un poquito. Hmm, is that Spanish? Took a little bit of Spanish in school. Hola, mi nombre es Gerda. Hola, Erda. Mi nombre es Pete. <laughs> nice to meet you, Pete. Unfortunately, I don't know more Spanish than that. Do you two can? No, but I speak fluent bird. Oh, <laughs> duh. <laughs> <laughs> Pete here tells me there's a princess who lives nearby who just married a prince. Sounds nice, but I'm not really in the mood for a love story right now. He says the prince looks just like your friend Kay. Really? Married? Kay? Kay? And he's a prince? Whoa, just like my dream. We have to go to that palace right now. He says it's one mile as the raven flies, but on foot, it'll take about 24 hours. A whole day? Well, we better get going then. Pete has an interesting idea. Huh? Ready for liftoff? Oh, um, is this safe? We're birds. We do this all the time. Relax. Gerda tried to relax, which was hard because, you know, she was being carried over a snowy mountain by a bunch of birds. But once she was brave enough to open her eyes, she saw that it was really quite beautiful. Wow. <laughs> right? We birds got a pretty decent view. There it is. I see the palace. Oh, I really hope Kay's in there. <sighs> Oh, gracias, Pete. Other birds, thank you all. I'm forever indebted to you. Well, here goes nothing. Much better in here. Nice and toasty. Hello. Kay, princess, hello. I'm the princess. Who are you? I'm Gerda P. Hopsworth. I'm looking for my friend. I think you may have married him. Oh, how wonderful. He'll be so happy to see you. Come, sit by the fire and warm up. Where is he? Darling, come down. There are some friends here to see you. Kay, is that you? Kay, is that you? My name is Kevin, but I suppose you could call me Kay. Oh, he's not Kay. I'm sorry, dear. Not as sorry as I am. Are you all right? Gerda was not all right, and she told the prince and princess all about it. 
I lost my friend. Kay? Yes, Kay. And I think the Snow Queen has him. Oh, she's bad news. I know. That's what everyone says. And then I heard that someone who looked just like my Kay had come here and married the beautiful princess. But you're not Kay at all. Oh, I should have never come to Alaska. <laughs> Alaska? You're not in Alaska. I'm not? No. Alaska is far, far away from here. This village is called Schnee. Schnee? Great! So now I'm lost too. Just add that to the list. I'm cold. I'm hungry. I'm sad. I'm scared. And I'm lost! <laughs> Maybe we can help. The prince and princess invited Gerda to spend the night. And I don't know if you've ever spent a night in a palace, but it was pretty nice. There was delicious food. <laughs> Big warm beds near cozy warm fireplaces. And in the morning, the prince and princess gave Gerda her very own golden carriage and a beautiful white horse. They gave the toucan a warm vest and a tiny fur cap. And for their journey, plenty of food, lanterns, and a compass. The Snow Queen's palace is in a place called Glacier in the north. Do you know how to use a compass? Allow me! I'm a bird with excellent navigational skills! North is... that way! That's south! Wishful thinking, I guess! Good luck! Thanks for everything, your highnesses! Goodbye. Goodbye! Gerda and the toucan set off for the north, feeling quite luxurious in their golden carriage. The only bad thing about a golden carriage is it's a little flashy and has the potential to attract... robbers! What a nice carriage you have! Um, thank you. We'll just be taking it and everything else you've got, princess. Oh, I'm not a princess. Hush up and hop out. Leave her alone. <coughs> ah, I want to keep the girl. Say what now? Absolutely not. Don't mind her. I'm the real boss around here. You can be my new best friend. It gets lonely out here living a life of crime. Gerda didn't see how she had much of a choice. These people had swords, after all. And the little one was a biter. Aw, cute bird. I'll keep him, too. Great! Giddy up, horsey. So now Gerda and the toucan were off on a new and totally unexpected leg of their journey, this time to live with the band of robbers deep in the snowy woods of Schnee, wherever that was. This is it. Home sweet home. It's nice. <laughs> Thanks. We have quite the collection. Check it out. I even have a pet reindeer. You should let him out so he can get some fresh air and exercise. Are you nuts? He'll run away. You look naughty too. I'll go find a cage for you. We gotta get out of here. Maybe it's not so bad. Easy for you to say. It's like the sorceress's place all over again. What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Nothing. Good. In your cage. Okay, new best friend, let's play a game. What game? Sword fight. The little robber girl had just challenged Gerda to a sword fight. Sword fight? A play sword fight. But you actually have a sword. That makes it pretty real in my book. Fine, we won't play. It's time for dinner anyway. Come and get it, everybody. Come and get your slop. Mmm, looks delicious. You must give me the recipe. Oh, it's not for you. There are pellets in your cage. Pellets, yum. Probably better than slop. Eat up, girl. You know, I'm really not hungry. Maybe I should get going. We, we should get going. Oh, no, you don't. You're my new best friend. You stay here with me. But I have to rescue my friend, Kay. It's very important. Kay will be fine. Forget Kay. Sit. Eat. Later, after their dinner of slop, the robber girl showed Gerda her room. Wow, you have a lot of birds. I love birds. That's why I was so excited to find you and your parrot. Toucan! Whatever. I don't want to. Fine. 
Why do they all have little strings tied to their legs? Because I don't want them to fly away. Obviously. But why do you trap your creatures and make them stay? I told you. I get very lonely out here. These are the only friends I ever had until you came along. Now, let's go to sleep. You sleep with your sword? Always. Gerda lay down near the robber girl, making sure that she was far enough away from her sharp sword, of course. The girl went to sleep immediately, but Gerda couldn't sleep. She was too worried about Kay. How would she ever rescue him if she was also trapped? Hey, girl. Me? Yeah, you. I saw your body, Kay. You did? When? Shh. A few days ago. I just got tied up here yesterday. Where is he? He was with the Snow Queen at her palace. How do you know it was him? I heard the Snow Queen call him by name. Did she seem very mean? Oh, yes. She's very wicked. Poor Kay. Oh, I miss him so much. I just want to find him and save him. He was my best friend in the whole world. Be quiet. You wait, the girl. But the robber girl was not sleeping at all. She had heard everything. She wanted a friend more than anything in the world, but she knew she couldn't keep Gerda from Kay. She had to help. The next morning, very early, so early the sun wasn't even awake, the robber girl woke Gerda. Hey. What time is it? Time to get you to your friends, Kay. Huh? Come on. You're letting us go? I want to be your friend and I want you to stay here forever. But for some reason, I want to help you. Weird, right? Not weird at all. That's what a real friend would do. Really? Yes. Thank you, friend. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Now you be careful. Don't run too fast and drop my friend. Giddy up. The reindeer didn't have to be told twice. He took off for Glacier, prancing and leaping with joy. Woohoo! Let's go get Kay! Wait for me! Gerda, Toucan, and the reindeer had traveled all day through snow and ice and still no sign of Glacier. We've been walking forever. Doesn't this thing go any faster? Why don't you fly? <laughs> My wings got tired. Hey, reindeer, can you talk? Hello? Hmm? Oh, yes. But my name isn't Reindeer, it's Clyde. Oh, hi Clyde. Pleased to be officially introduced. <laughs> Clyde, are you sure we're going the right way? Yes, I'm sure. At least I think I'm sure. You think you're sure? He spent the last couple years in captivity. Give him a break, Toucan. Why don't you fly up and check out the bird's eye view? Great idea, Clyde. Toucan, can you do that? I liked it better when you didn't talk. So, Clyde, tell me about Glacier. Oh, it's the most beautiful place in the world. Have you been to Florida, though? I think that's the most beautiful place. Not really my scene, but I have some cousins who go there every year for Christmas. Christmas. Wait a second. Do you know Santa's reindeer? Yeah, Donner and Blitzen and I go way back. Oh, <laughs> so can you fly or what? Good question. I never tried. What? I know for a fact that humans can't fly, and that didn't stop me from trying. I'm fly! Ow. That's how I broke my arm. See? You can still see the scar. <laughs> wow. I know. So anyways, you should totally try to fly. Okay, maybe you should hop off first. Good thinking. Okay, just run really fast and then leap. Sorry, totally my bad on that one. What happened here? I tried to fly. Oh boy, stick to what you know, Clyde. I think maybe Santa's reindeer eats some magic oats or something like that. <laughs> or maybe it's like Peter Pan and you gotta think happy thoughts. Or maybe you just gotta believe in yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, you see anything up there, Toucan? Yeah, I saw a palace just outside the forest. That way. Great, let's go, gang. When Gerda and her friends stepped out of the woods, they stopped, stunned. The palace was huge and sparkly, as if it were covered in a million diamonds. Trees were covered in shimmering icicles, and ice sculptures of animals dotted the land for as far as the eye could see. These are amazing. They look so real. 
told you this place was pretty. It is, but we have work to do, people. Or, uh, animals. <laughs> Let's go find Kay. Kay? Hello? Are you there? Kay? Kay? And suddenly, there he was in the distance, Kay in the flesh. Kay, it's really you. Hey, what is he doing? Kay, it's me, Gerda, your best friend. Stop it. Why is your friend trying to shoot us with frozen arrows? Yeah, that's not very friendly. Guys, that's not Kay. I mean, it is, but he's not himself. He must be under the Snow Queen's spell or something. We have to save him. Wait, I think I might know how to break the spell. You do? There's an old story about the Snow Queen that I heard as a youngster. Yeah? And I don't know if it's true or just one of those myths. Yeah? But legend has it that to break the Snow Queen's spell over someone... Spit it out, Clyde! You have to give them a kiss. A kiss? No way! Not you, Toucan. Gerda. Oh, right. Problem. Kay is, um, trying to shoot me with arrows, so how would I get close enough to even give him a kiss? I think we'll just have to run as fast as we can and dodge the arrows. We? Gerda helped both of us to freedom. We owe her. Yeah, you're right. We got you, Gerda. Thanks. You guys ready? Woohoo! Yeah! Let's go! Hello. Snow Queen! That's right, kids. The Snow Queen! The Snow Queen was beautiful. In fact, she looked just like Gerda had dreamed, shimmering from head to toe. She certainly didn't look evil. You're the most sparkly lady I ever saw. Thank you. May I give you a little kiss? The Snow Queen leaned in and was just about to give Toucan a little peck on the head when Gerda remembered her dream. No, Toucan! That's how she... Freezes you! Oh, did I do that? Silly me! <gasps> Wait, are all these ice sculptures real animals? Of course! Aren't they lovely? You are evil, and I know you took my friend Kay, but we're here to save him. Save him? But Kay loves it here! Impossible! You're an evil queen, and you brainwashed him. I'll show you! Kay, come here! Yes, my queen! Kay, would you tell this girl that you're happy here? Kay, no! You like the beach and the sun and hanging out with me, don't you remember? I'm very happy here. See, he's the Snow Prince, and you can be the Snow Princess if you like. No way! Then you can be my prisoner! Hey! Gerda! You want some too, reindeer? It's Clyde! Come on, Snow Prince. Let's go. Well, I guess being free for a day was pretty cool. Don't talk like that, Clyde. We're gonna bust out. You'll be free again. We'll save the toucan, and I'll rescue Kay. You'll see. But how, Gerda? Did I mention I was a Girl Scout? I don't even know what that means. It means that I can save us. Oh, cool. Wait, I don't get it. What does that do? Conjure up some kind of magic? Pretty much. Fire melts ice. It's kind of like magic. Let's go. Safety first. Gerda and Clyde found Kay alone, shivering and looking miserable. He was almost blue from the cold. Kay? Do the kiss thing. Don't rush me. This is a big step in our relationship. How's my breath? <gasps> You're just saving his life, remember? Not getting married. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gerda? Kay! Oh, you're back! What happened? You were captured by the evil Snow Queen. She froze your heart, but I saved you. Really? How? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> you got a little something on your face there. Yoo-hoo! Snow Prince, where are you? Ah, Snow Queen, let's go! Wait, we gotta get Toucan! What happened? You got frozen! But don't worry, we're going home. Florida, baby! Woohoo! Wait, did you save me with a kiss, too? Don't worry about it. Ooh! K! 
Kay and Gerda sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Hush up, Toucan. We gotta go save the rest of these animals. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can go. Guys, hop on. One, two, three, blast off. Whoa, you're doing it, Clyde. You're flying. How about that? I am. I knew you could. Good timing, by the way. Snow Prince, where are you going? Get back here. No way. Yeah, see you never. Kay and Gerda were so happy to be home again, back in warm, sunny Florida, far, far away from the frozen land of the evil Snow Queen. Clyde stayed for a quick visit, swam in the ocean, had some ice cream, but he got homesick and returned to the north. Toucan, on the other hand, was right at home. So, what do you guys want to do next? Build a sand castle? Go to Disney World? Go windsurfing? Maybe some alligator wrestling? I love all these stories. Did you guys like them too? Subscribe so you don't miss our awesome stories coming up. See you later, kids. Bye.